Eratosthenes was a scientist, and his contemplation of these homely matters changed the world, in a way, made the world. Because Eratosthenes had the presence of mind to experiment, to actually ask whether, back here near Alexandria, a stick cast a shadow near noon on June the 21st. And it turns out, sticks do. Eratosthenes asked himself how it could be that at the same moment, a stick in Syene would cast no shadow, and a stick in Alexandria, 800 kilometers to the north, would cast a very definite shadow. But how could it be, Eratosthenes asked, that at the same instant, there was no shadow at Syene, and a very substantial shadow at Alexandria? The only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. Not only that, but the greater the curvature, the bigger the difference in the lengths of the shadows. Eratosthenes knew the distance between Alexandria and Syene. He knew it was 800 kilometers. Why? Because he hired a man to pace out the entire distance so that he could perform the calculation I'm talking about. Now, 800 kilometers times 50 is 40,000 kilometers. So that must be the circumference of the Earth. That's how far it is to go once around the Earth. That's the right answer. Eratosthenes' only tools were sticks, eyes, feet, and brains, plus a zest for experiment. With those tools, he correctly deduced the circumference of the Earth to high precision, with an error of only a few percent. That's pretty good figuring for 2,200 years ago.